What's going on players? Welcome to your 11th Android tutorial in the 2.0 series. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a class for reading the information that we've saved to our device. Whether that be internal data or whether that be shared preferences. So far that's what we've covered. But we're going to have a class that can read and interpret that data and uh, use it in a different activity. Uh, and you guys are probably like, oh man, we got to set up another class and all this stuff. It's going to be terrible. Uh, well, I tried to make it a little bit easy for you. You know, I spent like a little bit programming the basic setup of the stuff that we're going to need. Um, and I put it on the website, mybringback.com. You know, check it out. I hear they're pretty cool, um, these guys at my bring back. And, uh, you know, this is our site. Sometimes we just have a little video here. Right now we're just kind of promoting ourselves. And down here we usually have uh, a way that our community can help someone. And again, we're being selfish by trying to help ourselves, getting into this sweet movie, um, the people that did Machine Gun Preacher. I don't know if, if that will even happen, I'm, but uh, if you want to follow them on Twitter, you can do that as well. But always there's going to be something down here where we can help, and that's kind of what we're about, helping helping each other. Um, but for this tutorial, where you're going to need to go, where you're going to need to go is in the tutorial section here, and you know these are the latest updates. But most likely over on the right hand or left hand side, this is where you're going to need to go um, as of the layout that we have currently. So uh, it's under the Android Intermediate series or the 2.0 series under the resources. Click that bad boy and look at that. Got everything set up for you. What the manifest is going to look like after we're, we're done here. Um, the menu.java, uh, menu XML, the reading class source code and the reading XML. So that's what you need to set up a menu class. Make sure your labels are exact same. So set up a menu class, set up a reading class, and then set up a menu XML and a reading XML. And then also update your uh, manifest here. So the important things that you guys need to you know make sure that is happening is if your package name is different then what I did at the beginning when we set up this 2.0 series, make sure you change your package names um, to like com dot whatever you guys put dot whatever you guys put here as well, or your packet or your identifier, um, uh, whatever. So make sure you change that around in the manifest as well, and everything else should be good to go. Unless if you had different activity names over here, which you probably did for right you know this uh, the 440 series activity because I was just an idiot when I named that activity so whatever that is change that reference um, but make sure you know these identifiers are the same for some reason I put capital S capital T so make sure you change that over and then within our menu class it looks pretty simple uh, we just have a string array set up with those specific identifiers from our manifest and so we have the st the dot settings external store reading um, and again you guys if you have a different package name than me when you copy it over from the website make sure you have your package as com dot again whatever you guys set up and also down here within the click method um, change this to your package name as well so com dot you know whatever right here getting your IDs your resources and also right here change this identifier as well make sure on this intent you have the period at the end of your package and uh, it's just kind of a quick setup to save some time it's been a little bit different than what we've done before but if you jump over into the menu XML uh, this is what it's gonna look like it's just all of all of what we've created so far um, pretty basic but what I did is I set this on click method uh, in the XML it's going to look for the on click method back in our menu so we don't have to set up those you know button whatever equals in parentheses button find view by id r dot id blah 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 then that button dot set on click listener basically if you set, define this on click to be on click within your xml you won't have to worry about those uh, you know setting that up but what's going to happen is all of those buttons are looking for this on click method to happen alright so let me try and explain this on click method real quick because I know some of you guys are probably like whoa that was pretty uh, short code there pretty awesome um, so basically what's happening is all of our buttons 
or set up this on click method and when we press like let's say the second button um, so the reference will be B1 here as you can see it would be our settings button uh, B1 just think of it that way click B1 or second button and it's gonna tell us information about the button so I just set up a variable called ID and it's just gonna be essentially like hey what view what was the ID of the view that was pressed so again our second button was pressed so the ID is gonna be R dot ID dot B1 okay so now it's setting this int or this ID value to be essentially B1 then we're gonna go through a for loop of how many different activities that we have or action names within our manifest that we set up in this string array up here so again we have four right now and then it's gonna cycle through four times you know zero one two three and four and the first time it's gonna cycle through is zero and then it's gonna check our B1 ID that we set up here from the second button that we pressed and it's gonna say hey is B1 the same as your resources get the identifier of B plus uh, this the current I that's on so it's gonna be B0 and it's gonna be an ID value from the package of our package identifier kind of confusing sorry if it is but uh, I, this part isn't really that important if you guys want to look at it you can try and figure out how it works but uh, you know pretty simple uh, setup just to save myself some time and I'm giving it to you guys to work with um, so I think that's the only thing that you'll need to know uh, that's new within our reading maybe you guys might have not worked with spinners before but we just have a large text here a spinner that we're gonna load up all of our journal entries and then we're also gonna hit a load button and then it's gonna sh display our journal down here alright pretty easy uh, concept to set up and uh, to start executing so again make sure you guys go over to the resources copy everything over make sure all of your you know classes have your package name at the top instead of the one that I provided on the website and uh, hopefully that saved you guys some time even though you're like crap now I can't listen to Travis babble and type slowly while I carry along um, all we're doing is just setting up our project for the next tutorial and I did that guys simply for you so you can just copy and paste alright and there's a donate button right there just saying just saying throwing that out there um, but again thanks guys for watching I'll catch you in the next tutorial make sure you get all those resources set up and your projects okay so uh, see you guys then have a good day